you're doing, man. It's awesome. Hey guys, it's Tyler's coming at you from the garage. Today what I'm gonna work on is the Fairmont. I'm gonna do as much as I can on my end to keep furthering the progress of the Fairmont along. When it comes to paint choices, when it comes to tire and wheel fitment, all that stuff. I got somebody coming down Saturday to look at the car for paint, not external paint, just cage, interior, engine bay, and all the tubular stuff that was done, get some paint on it, and then I can start do what I have to do on this side to start getting an engine, cross member, all that stuff in. Nothing fancy. I want to be able to drive this car, so I'm not looking to get really nice paint jobs. But one thing I can do in the, in, in the, in the interim, in the meantime, is the wheel and tire fitment. I ran into some issues already. So some of you that, that saw my old notch, I had a set of 15 by 10 inch with a six and a half inch backspacing Bellac wheel. 15 by 10 with a six and a half inch backspacing is very tight on a regular Fox body more so on a Fairmont and I'll show you why. So the Fairmont has this guy right here and this guy on a Fox body goes up and over. This guy kind of cuts it off at, I don't know, maybe about three quarters of the way up. It makes it tucked so you have less room for stick out. Now I was hoping that I would have enough room because it's a six and a half inch backspace. My previous wheels were seven and a half inch backspace, which actually would fit perfectly now that I have a mini tub on the car. But because it's a six and a half inch backspace, the, the, the smaller the number, the more the wheel protrudes out. It's not a big deal, Alex. It's tucked in. It's good. You don't get it. Yes, it's tucked in. But when you get this tire to this area right here, it tapers in so I actually need a wheel to be in further about boy maybe an inch because I have a ton of room inside okay I have a ton of room because of the mini tub but right here on the slip I'm gonna run out of room pretty quickly because it actually goes in it tapers in let me put the phone in there see this guy goes in see it goes in so the more the car gets lowered the higher the wheel gets tucked and it'll be up in here in this area and I don't want to have to do anything on this side. So I'd rather just suck the wheel in a little more and do that. And how do I do that? Well, I have to borrow a wheel that's 15, <clears throat> but it's a 12. That's right, 15 by 12 with a seven and a half inch back spacing. So I thought to myself, if I can get that to fit, hell, a 275 on a 15 by 12 would fit perfectly. So check out the wheel that I'm gonna to use to test fit on this car. All right, so this is, I believe, a Bogart, and this is 15 by 12 with a seven and a half inch backspace, but it's a 325 50 15. This is a huge tire. Now, if this tire can fit on my mini tub with a stock width axle, I literally just buy a 15 by 12. <laughs> with a with a seven and a half inch backspace and put a 275 on there and it'll be a nice stretched look and i think it'll fit the car nicely so let's get it up on the car and let's see how it looks No way. <laughs> Not even close. Like, I'll just put one lug nut on there. Just... <laughs> oh, geez, don't scratch it up. You'll see the video. Uh, yeah, I mean, if I want to tuck it a little bit. Just a little bit. Do I need an extension? I think I need an extension for that sucker. That's a deep ass bitch. Definitely not gonna work. It would work if it was a regular Fox body. You see what I mean? If it was a regular Fox body and I didn't want to tuck it up in the bitch, it'd probably work fine. I kind of probably would look kind of baller, but obviously, you know, it's not something, I'm not gonna run something like this. To me, that's uh, a little, 
hillbilly because it this one needs like a shit like an eight inch backspace because it's a 15 by 12. now if it's a 15 by 11 with a seven and a half inch backspace it actually might look pretty good so i'm gonna have to decide if i'm gonna go with an 11 with a seven and a half inch backspace because that'll give me an inch hail but i don't know if an inch is enough look at i don't think an inch is nearly enough i think it's gonna have to be 15 by 10 with a seven and a half inch backspace ah that sucks because i really would preferably love to go with a 11 or 12 but if a 15 by 10 is all i can get away with that's all i can get away with all right let's make our way so i got plenty of room this mini tub um gives me plenty of room to put whatever type matter of fact yeah this this guy would work if i had hell even the tire size would work if i had more offset and that's my issue i need a higher number offset to bring it back and you know it'll clear the brakes so that's good the fact that the brakes will clear is not a problem this is my 15 by 10 on this side let me get a better camera angle so that's the dilemma i can get like a tool that allows me to measure what exactly is all needed but this is 15 by 10 six and a half inch backspace see and the higher you go in there the more it's gonna rub on the fender got tons of room back here so might as well just get ridiculous offset maybe seven and a half but this is the other question should i go with a 15 by 11 and then that can be like a eight inch offset so that it's sucked in as much as possible with an 11 inch wheel you know what i mean because the way guys run it now is a very small number offset so that there's a lot of dish so the smaller the offset the more dish you have but that means you have to shorten the rear end i'm not going to shorten this rear end are you crazy this is a stupid fox body these things just work so I have, to, I have a decision to make. This is a 15 by 12 with a seven and a half inch backspacing and it has similar clearance than a 15 by 10 with a six and a half inch backspacing. So I think it's time for me to decide what to do about that. I'll talk to some people to see what options I have, but obviously I have a lot of room to go inside. Don't mind the color. I was just experimenting with colors and that hammer tone stuff and, and brown looks more like copper. <laughs> so I don't know who... Who's the person in charge setting the color tone, but uh, that's definitely not brown. <laughs> that looks more like copper. Okay, so that's that. I don't think, obviously this is not gonna work. This is 15 by 12 with a, a seven and a half inch backspacing. So you're telling me I can get away with a 15 by 12, 275, 60, 15 stretched with like a, nine inch backspacing one two so this exact same wheel 15 by 12 with a 275 stretched just more backspace right so i have to get with the owner of this wheel see what the backspace is and say okay let's get some 15 by 12s with a eight inch nine inch backspace and have the not not much slip in the front but a lot of tire under the car, that'll be interesting. So yeah, the, I got I got a lot of uh, a lot of things to do. For the people that asked about the frame being narrow here, it's been boxed. You understand? A lot of people are like, oh my god, they took out so much of the frame. Yeah, but then they boxed it. That's that's how it works. They they notch it and they box it for strength, so it's not an issue. And the car is all roll caged up, so I'm not really stressing that. That's very normal. So I'm gonna have to find a good coating for that. Anyway, let's not get off kilter. Hmm, what would you do? What would you do? This is a 1512 with a seven and a half inch backspace. I might, boy, the more I think about it, the more I might just get this wheel with a bigger backspace or because I can't do anything with this wheel, this wheel, what am I gonna do, start cutting it up? There's another thing that one of the guys suggested and, I, and I'll show you what that's all about. Okay, the other thing somebody suggested they asked, how thick is the pad where it mounts on the axle? And, um, uh, yeah, so let's be honest. Is this something? Maybe Bellac could help me out with this. This is the mounting pad. And what would happen if I milled this down 
to give me the proper clearance. The problem is I would need, pff, shit, I would need a hat. Well, there is no pad. That's the thing. If it was like a pad, like, um, like a stick out, then you could mill that down. But since there is none, why not just get the right offset center? You know what I mean? Like, is that something that's even possible to get the right offset center? I'll talk to Damien Barato at Bellac and I'll say, hey, look, this is my dilemma. I have a 1510 with six and a half inch backspace. And what's happening is it's hitting on the edge and I need, give me an inch. Hey, yo, give me an inch of clearance. And if he's like, yep, yeah, here's the center. It costs this much. Just replace it because it bolts in. I'd go, okay, we can try that. It obviously looks like it's sealed with some kind of, maybe not. It looks like it has seam sealer or something like that on the edge. So let me, let me hit him up and then we'll see what he says. All right, a couple days have passed and I've talked to Damien about the wheels and he's like, um, there's no way I can do anything with these current wheels I, in, in terms of modifying them to fit. So you're better off just selling them. So one more thing I wanna try because it's hitting right here, right? It's hitting right now. So I can barely roll it forward without rolling on this guy. And this is a six and a half inch backspace, but I do have a wheel that's a seven or seven and a half inch backspace. That's right. S197 stuff. S197 stuff has a slightly bigger offset, but the problem is it's a taller wheel. So, or taller, I'm sorry, taller tire to, to drag slick as opposed to a drag radial. So, Let's see if the offset that I'm gaining with this guy is enough to tuck everything in. And if that's the case, I can get S197 offset wheels to fit the Fairmont. If not, I have a tool that I can measure how much wheel and offset I need in order to make it fit on the mini tub and still be close to the edge as possible. So, because, see, I, I kind of like how this looks. As close to the edge as possible, tiny bit of stick out, nothing crazy. I'm hoping the offset is right. So I got a, I got jacked, this guy jacked up with a uh, stand, try to sneak the wheel out of this situation, then transfer it over to this guy, gotta get this guy up, hey yo, and transfer it over to this guy and see how the wheel sits on this chassis. Holy shit guys, an S197 with a 20 S197 backspace on this particular car fits perfectly and I have a ton of room to go in. I probably can get away with a 15 by 12 on this thing, but I don't think it's necessary on this car to be honest with you and it tucks just right. I'm telling you guys, that's kind of hard to tell, but I have room. <laughs> I have room and with a drag radial, there'll be even more room. It is not touching at all. I can probably slide a credit card. Wow, I got extremely lucky. So, S197 offset on this guy. Oh man, come on, stop it. Bro, stop it. I love that shit. Now, is this the wheel that can go with this car? Probably. I mean, <laughs> the more I look at it, the more I squint my eyes, the better it looks. You know what I'd love to do? I'd love to put the GT500 wheels, all of them, on the fair mob. And then replace the GT500 wheels some other day. Or I can just swap them back and forth because this is five on four and a half. Ugh, decisions, decisions. But nice thing that I had that wheel available and I should be able to use this guy no problem. John Lund Sr. has a bunch of S197 wheels and some bell axe, so I might just buy a set off of him, but it's good to know that I didn't have to bust my ass to find out what wheel would work. S197 offset on this particular Fox body is gonna work just fine.